All right, so in this video, I have one of my favorite pairs of sneakers on the market. This is the uh, Nike Pegasus 35 Turbo. But I got this white colorway, and it has this crazy little strip down the front of the shoe that's all white. A lot of the other colorways have a lot of pop on that strip, though. So I decided I'm going to go ahead and make my own on this colorway. So I'm going to do this crazy print right here and go over top of it and see how it looks. This is like an oil slick. I thought about doing the Galaxy one here or a paint splatter one, but the paint splatter one just didn't look like it would have enough like oomph, I guess, to that little teeny strip. So ultimately I ended up with this one because I think it's going to look uh, the best up and down uh, the front of the shoe. So that is what we're going to do. So this is going to be a hydro dip video. And if you guys like the hydro dip videos, leave a thumbs up on the video and hopefully you guys enjoy. Let's go ahead and get into it. First things first, I already taped off the print. If you guys didn't know what this is, this is a hydrographic print, and basically it goes on top of water, as you'll see. Once we put it on top of the water, we leave it there for a minute, we spray it with this hydrographic activator, and that actually turns this plasticky paint sort of material into liquid paint, and then I push the shoe through the paint, and it adheres to the shoe. It works better with some materials than others, and that's why I thought that this material would work really well because it's like a rubbery plastic and it seems to adhere uh, quite well to that. So I wanted to go ahead and give it a try and uh, let's see how it goes. There it is right here. So here's the print, glossy side down like this. And then you see there's going to be an air bowl here. Oh. Make sure the water stays out like that. That looks like a pretty good set. Hopefully the water right here doesn't keep going on. Uh, we're gonna let it do its thing. So as you can see, it's pretty much liquid now, so we can be able to dip this straight down like this and pull it out and we should be good to go. I think I'm gonna go straight down and across this way like this, though. All right, here we go. Oh man, perfect. Let's see, did I mess up anywhere else? Nope. Wow, I'm impressed. I like it all the way down to the toe down there. All right, cool, let's try the next one. Gotta find the glossy side down. That air bubble's out. That and then we just wait for one minute. You see how it's pulling everything though? That might be a sign that the activator, I, I mean, I'm not an expert, that could be a sign that the activator is too much in the water, so it's sort of activating already, or it could be because of the water being too warm. But since the water's been sitting out, that has to be because of too much activator. So I can't do any more in this same water. I need to empty this and get more. Otherwise, I risk just not having it work. Not quite sure. I think I'm gonna go like this. All right, there we go. I think we're good. Boom, there we go. Just like that, it looks pretty good, man. Now we need to go rinse these things off and call it good. I'm a little concerned about this one right here. You can see the bubbles on it. I feel like it's not gonna stay on this one, probably because of a couple of factors that I don't really like. Yeah, you can see right here, look at that. It's getting a little bit bigger. I mean, that's pretty bad. See, it's buffed off pretty good right there, but all right, so here is a look at the finalized product before I rip the tape off here. Um, as you can see, this one turned out really good, it looks like, but this one turned out a little bit funky. Uh, I don't know why we got 
the uh, the spotting that you can see right here. If somebody actually knows in the comment section, leave a comment and let me know. But I don't know what was causing this spotting. I don't know if it was just too much spray in the water or if there was too much leftover spray in the water from the previous. I, I honestly don't know, but I've seen this happen sometimes to some of my test products and it's annoying when it happens because it could be just smooth as butter. Let's go ahead and take off the tape. It feels a little bit dry now, so we can take off the tape and see what we have. Um, this looks like a pretty good line for the most part here, so that's a plus. Let's take this off here. See the final results over here. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's not, that's not a bad line at all. So there's a little bit of extra gunk on the bottom down here. That's crappy. I got a little extra blue right here. Here's a little acetone here. Try to remove this real quick. Super simple. See? And then right down here at the toe. Looks pretty good. I did get a little more runoff on the bottom here. Well, that's totally fine. I mean, this will come off as I step around because anytime you have paint on the bottom, it just will kind of slough off. But decent paint job, though, all in all. The little bit off right here, you could see. I wish I would have got that little hit. Um, but all in all, I think it looks cool, man. I mean, it likes, adds like a lot. It's just different than just having an all white shoe. Adds a little bit of pop to it, and I like uh, the way it came out. So let's take off the other one, the one that's kind of screwed up. There you go. This one has a lot more color to it up and down than the other one, which I like. Doing something like this is definitely a risk. I am tempted to redo this one though just because that stripe is pretty off. Like if I look it up close you can see the pit marks. Pretty bad. I don't love that. But down here lower it looks really good. But compared to this one I think this one came out a lot better. As you can see here. So uh, yeah man I think that it was a sort of success. Kind of a fail. My dog's getting out in the garage out here. Uh, but. Leave a comment, let me know what you guys think though. And if you guys do want to see Hydro Dip on a pair of 720s or 270s, leave a comment which one you'd like to see and I'll try to do one of those in the future. But, uh, but that's the video and yeah, fun um, trying new things and new different dips and excited to be back doing some more of these Hydro Graphic prints for you guys. Be sure to subscribe for more videos if you guys like these and hit the notification bell to be notified of when my videos are posted. Have a good one and more videos soon. Peace guys.